Yeah, look. I, I, I want to do this, alright? I make no apologies. Nightmare time. Yeah, so, um, I put out that Zombie U video just the other day. I'm recording this Friday. And, uh, I, I just want to fucking do this, really. No reason other than I want to. Look, um, I've been honest in the past. These videos are for me, basically. I just want to make them. I don't really care if they get traction or not. Would be nice, of course. But, it's yeah, just something I want to do. So, Nightmare. Um, no real change in the start of the game. But, there's one extra zombie, um, just after Brad. Um, it's blocking the gate before you meet Dario. Nothing really changes other than that. That's the only enemy addition. Um, you come up here, you get what you normally get. With the addition of a lightning hawk. So yeah. Also, this is the part where Puritans get really mad. This isn't because I'm not good enough. This is because, fuck it. This is a time-saving mechanism as far as I'm concerned. Right, so. There we go. You go away for now. As is this. I really don't need these immediately, but. Yeah. No reason not to just grab them now. Makes things a lot faster. Alright, there we go. Cool. So. Why the fuck? Start of a new year. Why bother? Oh, well, basically, um, we'll get around this corner and you'll see why. Look, I'm probably going to skip some cutscenes, but... I'll let this go. Now, I was doing a bit of practice last night. Okay, let's see if we can get the roll. Otherwise, I'm starting this all again, I guess. Or not. Here we go. Missed. Beautiful. So, last night when I was practicing, I got incredibly lucky and blew his head off. Which is awesome, because it meant I didn't have to do this. I also did the rooftop nem... Uh, let's try it again. I also did the rooftop nemesis fight without taking a single hit. Yeah, so this is when my impression of Nightmare changed quickly. Because I was like, neat. Alright, can we get, can we do it? Bingo. See you later, fuckers. So yeah, they just kind of despawn. Now, there's no real advantage um, of getting this earlier other than might as well. I mean, if I was using the Magnum, sure. Yeah, Charlie Dolls, yeah, no. Mag ammo. Let's just change this round. Radio. Yeah, so I'm kind of treating this as a, I don't know, a pseudo way to vent about this game, because it's quite a paradox. I had a re I had a revelation towards the end of last year, a revelation too, I, I suppose. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, that was terrible. I I apologize. Whoops, not what I wanted. Um, that this game is simultaneously really cool and fun, disappointing, and yet somehow my game of last year. Because the only two new games I played last year, well we're going to skip this, oh no, it's on fire, what do? Oh uh, well, we're walking back this way. Zombies break down fence, oh no. Yeah, this game is simultaneously disappointing and really amazing at the same time, just because of how fun it is to play. But the only two new games I even played last year were this and Mortal Shell. And Mortal Shell was a fucking great Souls-like. I love it a lot. It's really cool. Does a lot of interesting things. Okay, so if you just leave them, cool. They don't get up. Yeah, they all jump up if you try to knife any of them. Better to just ignore them. Um, and Mortal Shell, yeah, sorry. Mortal Shell is really cool. I like it a lot. It's a really fun Souls-like. But... I've just been playing this more. And I took an extended break from this and I've come back to it. For the sake of um, showing off um, the game to a mate about a week and a half ago. And... Yeah. I started doing Nightmare. And I'm like, fuck it. 
Video time, I guess. Yeah, this game's a bit of a paradox. What's here is really fun. What's here, what's not here is disappointing. It's just, it's a shame. Because, like, I, I've added myself. I'm not really a Resident Evil Puritan. I know a lot of the stuff. I read the wikis many moons ago. It's just over a decade ago when I wanted to get into it. That was mostly because I saw one of my friends play RE4 on the Wii. And, well, we'll just combine this now, fuck it. And because, admittedly, I saw one of the films was Afterlife. Now, there's a good chance she's going to get me here. There's a zombie right around the corner. She's the one that was in the demo, effectively. Fuck. Okay. Now, I don't remember if she gets up. So, we're going to knifey knife. Yes, she does. So, there is a zombie that shows up in the, in the safe room. Ha ha ha. Eventually, but don't remember what the context of that is. Yeah, there's nothing there, sadly. Alright. So, yeah, one thing they start doing is throwing our parasite buddies at us way sooner. We're going this way. We're going to do this. If we may. Just so we have an easy escape. The question is, will they follow us? I don't know if that's just a game or if it's them freaking out outside. So we could actually go through front door of Moon's Donuts. We could try. But um, there's a reason I'm going to advise I don't try that. Yeah, so Parasite Boys are really fucking annoying as per always. The knee trick is pretty good. You just shoot them in the knee and they fall over like that. Um, yeah, they have weird fucking bullshit where they can just go through walls because, um, oh Christ, it's like Zombie Ewan, forgetting what I was saying. Fuck. First hit. Damn it. That shouldn't have happened for a while. <sighs> That's annoying. That's help I might not have for the last nemesis fight. Oh boy, that'll be fun. Yeah, I genuinely forgot what I was going to say. God damn it. This is going amazingly. Yeah, so the box is here now. Well, one of the boxes, rather. Um, yeah, Parasite Boys have the trick with the knee. This barrel's seemingly useless in this version. That was weird. But like the skybox freaked out or something. If you're fast enough, you can get some cheeky knife um, stabs in, but it's not really worth it, I guess. Oh, really, huh? I mean, I guess the logic is I could lure her towards a barrel, which actually would be a much better move. And that's totally what I should have done. That is explicitly what I should have done. Damn me. That was clever. So we're going to wander on this way. I re I'm really fucking bummed I got hit. Damn it. I wasn't practicing because of this last night. I was just doing it because I wanted to. We did pick it. Yeah, we picked it up. It's over here. That's what we are missing. We'll get to you in a second. Hitting that safe room. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm holding off making anything just yet. So, there is plenty of ammunition in here. Huh. Neat. Now, will they be up? No. We're going to figure out the triggers together. Let's be cheeky. That's for the end game. I haven't shot the Magnum once in Nightmare so far. I'm saving that for, for the very end. That scared the shit out of me, even though I knew there was not a single zombie that could be here. Yeah, so like I was kind of saying at the start, this is going to be kind of, I guess, venting about the game. Because there's a lot I like about this remake. 
and there's a lot to be desired, obviously. A lot left to be desired, but man, just kind of bums me out. Because what's here is really fun to play. Like, Remake 2, yeah, better. 100%, yeah. I'm not going to dispute that. But I just find this one really fun to play. Which I know, you know, is probably not what people want to hear. Like, I'm a sucker for action gameplay, so... No wonder I like this so much. Plus this. There is some shit I'm going to try out with that later on. I'm hoping I can lure Nemesis here after the uh, donut shop cutscene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is a bit of a lie. Because she will become one of the parasite heads. Also, there is an aid here. I am hoping I only need to use one. We're going to hit here for shoddy ammo. Just cause. Radio, Cool. Wish you could speed that up a little. Right. We are about to get the shotgun after all, so... Oh, fine. Get the bloody book. Radio. Let's see how this goes. So... I don't know if you can try to, you know, use the door. But that's the trigger. Damn it, that's annoying. I was hoping to get both of them. Now yeah, there's a zombie coming out. Ooh, he got hit. Parasite boy is still going off. Okay, now that means the other one's right here. And he should be dead because he got hit by a fucking nade. Yep. Ooh, that was lucky. I don't hate these enemies or anything, but they're certainly annoying. Did I do it? That did it. Cool. You know, getting tagged by the first zombie isn't so bad if I didn't get hit by them once. I'll, I'll cop that. Most of the stuff I'm going to be talking about the further we get is... Uh, yeah, I, I know how this sounds, but you understand in context how to fix Nemesis, which sounds really, oh great, this uh, YouTuber, this person who makes fucking music edits of Astral Chain is telling us how we should design games. Yeah, because that is how that sounds. <laughs> but um, this all kind of stems from the other day, one Maximilian dude put up a cool video about his top three most disappointing games of the year. This was one of them. As much as he enjoyed it, which is what he said, it's just, there's a lot cut. There's just stuff missing. It's infuriating in a way. You wish it was greater than it was. And I left a rather lengthy comment, not, you know, going, oh, what the fuck? Why do you hate this? More as a, yeah, it sucks. Um, and I was kind of, I don't think it really even got a like, but... Oh, well, I'll survive somehow. Um, yeah, this is the annoying part. Yeah, okay, we're gonna just have to make some, because I'm not coming back. That'll suffice. I meant to make shoddy shells, but sure. Getting that box is the trigger for these fucks. Um, I was kind of hypothesizing how you fix Nemesis. And to me, the most obvious solution to fixing him, damn it, I was hoping to get um, the other one to walk through with our friend right here. Okay, now that's annoying. Because that kind of ruins what I was doing. That would have actually been perfect. No, you don't, fucker. You still got a parasite? Nope. Cool. I don't know if they despawn, so I'm not taking taking any chances. We're going this way. I don't want to trigger the zombies out there. Um, but yeah. Nemesis is... If, we'll try that again. Nemesis is really fun to fight in this game. 
I think he's like one of my favorite bosses I fought all of last year and like I said that's not many obviously it's a bit trite to say at this point but I kind of feel uh, oh yeah there we go they're all getting up now I got this kind of feeling when I was fighting um, Birkin 4 in Remake 2 um, the pacing kind of reminds me of a Souls game again very trite to say but I think Nemesis in this game hits this awesome balance between what you normally look for in like a Souls boss also yeah he's up there haha <laughs> we're going back this way first I should go do the hose but I'm doing this while I can there's not going to be any zombies here and we're not getting chased by Nem and I'd like to have the resources while I can yeah Nemesis is like this nice hybrid of what I like in an action game like Astral Chain toned down for a survival horror game but still having elements that just the pacing of the fight, like his moveset, the way he has these big openings, but he's still rather fast moving. Something about it just reminds me of Souls. And it's really fun to fight as consequence. It's a really awesome fight, the rooftop fight. Fight, fight, fight. Um, it's just a shame, and this is the crux of the comment, it's just a shame we weren't fighting that nemesis in the streets. And while that might have been a bit overkill, it's that annoying thing of, that fight is so fun, I wish the entire game was built, <clears throat> excuse me, I wish the whole game was built around that fight. It's just so, it's so fun, I just love it so bloody much, and I'm going to repeat that. Ad nauseum, I, yeah, I, I'm warning you and promising you. It's just so amazingly fun to me. And I kind of wish, like, okay, maybe not now. Maybe he shouldn't pop up this very in instant. But I'd like it if he had that kind of moveset wandering around now. And I kind of like the finality of... Well, why am I saying finality? That's dumb. The uh, whole thing of, in the OG one of, okay, Nemesis pops up. You got two choices. You gonna fight him? Or are you gonna run? If you knock him out here, he's going to be down for most of the next area. If not, he's going to be harassing you. Which presents this nice little payoff, this different option. Damn it. Uh, you can't skip this. I figured out you can, like, dodge into that, actually. Speeds up a tiny bit. It would be nice if you had this one. But you can't have it. Yeah, this is the only annoying part. But yeah, um, again, this is the crux of this entire playthrough. Boy, would be cool if you took boss fight Nemesis and, you know, dropped him throughout the game a little more than not much. Yeah, I, I discussed this before, I'm sure, but you, if you try to catch Nikolai, he just kind of pieces out through the door. He despawns. Oh well. Yeah, it's just a shame because, like, in my mind, all they really needed was a few more streets in this area. And you could have had him more, you could have had Nem be more like Mr. X, except with the um, undercurrent of, I can take him out and he's going to be down for 20 minutes. He's going to be down until, say, um, well, hold on, let me do this first. This is what I want to... This is why I'm waiting. A sec. Fuck these dogs. I think I changed the brightness, actually. Let me... Fucker! I knew we'd get up. Damn it! I've barely seen that animation. Fuck you, pup. You will notice I'm not going to be using the defense coins, the regen coins, the attack coins, or the infinite weapons. That's not in the spirit of this. We're on caution. I fucking hate this right here. Shoddy's the way to go, fuck this. Yep. 
Yep. We're out. Fuck. I want to just... <sighs> I don't want to have to dodge both. I dodged way too early there. I'm going to have to dodge the second I come out of this. Yeah, their range is some shit. Damn it, that really sucks. I normally have to heal around there anyway because they tag me, but... Uh, getting hit by the dog was really irritating. Not normally this dry in regards to handgun ammo, though. Uh, I wish I could do this room a little differently, but I'm going to have to do it the uh, boring way. She's... Okay, you know what? No, no, this is going to be a little faster. Because these guys despawn. She can't do much. I think she'll despawn the second I walk through... Well, I do some stuff in here. We're not full, thankfully. Yeah, anyway, to finish my thought before I got mauled by a dog. Because I'm shit. If you had a few more streets, just, um, let's see. Okay, so, uh, I can't show the fucking streets. Damn it. Oh well. We'll, we'll work that out in a sec. It's just, okay, skip this. I, I never need to touch this, but I grab it because it's gonna fucking bug me. Ha ha ha, bugs. <laughs> um, you'll see it when we get to the rocket launcher section. All those little streets we go down, like the back of that, you know, the back of Kendo's shop with the house and all that. Um, yeah, we're going to go around and grab the stuff from underneath now. I think that'll have despawned that zombie. Um, all those streets that open up, the Stagler gas station. Um, like, that wouldn't, that's not a lot. This could be a mistake doing this, but I kind of need to do that. Um, let's open this stupid thing. Um, I know there's a mod that opens up some areas, notably the gas station, and I assume those areas. If we had that to play around with, Nemesis probably... Like, the crux of it is, I think if we had more room, um, they would have had Nemesis show up more. I think that's really it. I think it's just uh, they were afraid there wasn't enough play area. Um, that said, um, I, I don't know how that would work in Inferno. But as far as I'm concerned, there's enough room to navigate them on the normal difficulties. Nightmare, yeah, potentially, I don't know. But it's just a shame. Because you just need a little more area. Like, you just need a few more places you can loop back on yourself. And I think Nem would be totally fine. Actually, while we're here, let's just walk out so I can use the map. Doesn't um, pause the game annoyingly enough, but... Okay, so we're here. Nem's gonna show up there later on, right? Fuckers. Do they respawn? Okay, well, I one just got up. Cool. Alright, so we're here. This leads around, and this is the back of Kendo's shop, right? Kendo's shop is somewhere here-ish. We come through. There's the house here, um, around here, and we come through. I'm not saying we needed to get to like the RPD street, which I assume is here, the back of the RPD, but there's even the back of here, where you come around from the power plant. If we could have explored that and just like lace it with a zombie or two, maybe have another zombie dog, because there's only four of them in the whole game. Um, you know, barring the two set piece dogs at the start. Just. Uh, yeah, like, I wonder, I, I just, I'd love to know what caused the problems this game has. I'd like to know if it, they were intentional, or if it was just, just the way it ended up. It's, it's just upsetting. Because this game could have been so much more, there's so much potential here, really. There's a lot of cool shit. Let's just have a look. 36, yeah, right now. That's, um, including the start. Yeah, i just keep a save to start with now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the fucking parasite scene. Uh-huh. I don't know what the optimal timing is to use the herbs, but I just want to get rid of that as fast as possible. I'm going to be wasting copious amounts of shotgun in here. I apologize. Quick turn. 
Okay, now there's always... Okay, wait, is there anything here? I fucking forget. There is nothing here. I know there's nothing there, but... She was turning her head, makes me think there's a fucking... Deimos on the roof. We're just going for it. You guys will probably have an easier time hearing him than I will. One typically crawls out then. Yeah, fucking knew it. This, this is the red jewel, so let's just have a look now. There's going to be an item or two I fucking miss here. There's a point where I just don't care anymore. Put that there. You can see how, I, how I've learned to organize my inventory. So now attaching a case HD though. I'm going to assume, given the nature of how it is, and the fact they said they're doing it, that the RE4 remake is probably going to take a lot more of this style of gameplay, which I'd be happy with, because this game is really fucking fun. I just really like the flow of combat in this game. The dodge is awesome, you could expand on the repertoire of like counter moves, because um, Leon's got a lot of cool stuff to play with. You know, including like suplexes and shit. Come on. Okay, yep, did it. Normally there's one around here. Being a bit of a dick. Okay. We seem to have... Fucking knew it. Shit, Lord. There's a good chance we're going to get parasited one more time. Yep, fucking knew it. This is normally where they get me. Oh, fuck you. We back on caution? We're back on caution. I should have shot it first. My mistake. Yeah, I forget where that item is that I always miss, but... Okay, there is that one coming along. Normally what will happen for this part is... There'll be run one... There'll be one right behind me as I'm coming along here. Like so. And normally, what it'll do is try to get me as I go through the door. See you later, fucker. We'll grab that for the sake of it. Alright, well, getting that hit doesn't really matter too much. Given Nemesis is going to wombo combo me one way or, you know, one way or another. So who gives a shit? I'll pick you up too. Alright. It's time. You stay there. I'm not using the mag now. If I was playing this very casually, I'd actually, you know, we're going to grab this. I consider using the health coins, but that's not in the spirit of what we're doing here. All right, how much handgun we got? Plenty. Carlos. Skip you. 26. And we have 14. And three nades. Don't be surprised if there's a lot of, um, well, if there's a little bit of a death montage following this. Because there's a good chance he's going to fuck me up a few times. Okay, so it's about here. Nope. Trigger's there. Are you kidding me? Hey, fuck it. Now, it's a nade plus a shot. He downs him the first time. Reload, because we can. One, two, three... Now, we don't want to get cornered here. Yep. This is a little dark. One little thing I really like that he does is the whole um, blocking... Well, um, whatever you want to call it on his chest. His little heart protector. Uh, his pacemaker. We say that. Now we're going to need the shoddy, because we got these chuckle fucks. I find that way easier to do. We have this one zombie coming up here who gets a little too close, so we're just going to blast her. And we're just going to blast this dickhead. To move him out the way. See you later, fucker. Yeah, I don't think Nem can come through here at this very moment. But he can definitely get in here if we... If we give him the chance. 
yeah, so in case you don't know, and there's a good chance, you um, attach this later on when you're out, and it gives you more. So that's cool. Right, we're going to run through Moon's Donuts, because I'm not getting cornered by him up there. This is one zombie, we can dodge it pretty easily. Depending on Nem's positioning. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, fucking knew it. Damn it. First death. It wasn't even to Nem, Nem himself. Cool. So, I think... It's that weird thing of hitting continue will carry over over the death. Hitting load won't on the auto saves. Obviously, if you've made a manual save, no shit. But whatever. Okay, so I'm happy we got Nem the first time because he's the pain. This part I don't care. Like I, I'll tank a hit. I need a heal anyway. There's no point taking him out now, which is kind of the annoying part. Okay, no, he's playing nice. He's going to show up down here, which is actually what I'd rather. No? The fuck is he? The fuck is he? Huh, that was weird. That was incredibly fucking weird. Alright, um... I always fuck this up, so let's try to remember. F-A-R-A-S-A. And it's... 0203... 2, I think. Oh, wait, yeah, sorry. Yeah. God damn it. Route. Yeah, I didn't click that fast enough. Carlos, it's me. Oh, I didn't click that when I meant to. I'm a genius. Right, so we've killed everyone in here. I don't know if they all despawn or whatever, but I don't think this is a safe way to get all that any earlier. So this dickhead will get up. If I take the hit, I take the hit. I need to heal. Okay, here's what I'm going to experiment with. Because I'm just going to nail one of you right now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Are you kidding me? Huh? Yeah, I wanted one of them down. Because what we're going to do is... We're going to lure Nemesis to that barrel. We're going to hit this to give us some breathing space. Some breathing room. And we're going to try to just... Fuck it. Knew it. Yeah, so if I had been able to get far, uh, get past, he would have slid down just in time. Oh well, this is, uh, this is going amazingly. Don't hit me the second I get out. I'm dead. Yeah. That'll do it. That on the other hand. I'm excited to see what awaits us in here. Oh, beautiful. Wow, 
I have no heals, so I'm excited to see what's through this door. What the hell? See you later, fucker. Oh! Alright. Now, Nem's a gentleman, and he'll take his time to get through the door. The zombies will fall down. I'm basically dead, though, because I've got to dodge this guy perfectly. Oh! Dodge him. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, after many failed attempts, we're just doing it this way. Fuck this. Alright, so Cop's gonna show up right here. So we're gonna dodge roll into him. That went a lot better than the last time too. Well that's infuriating. Um while we're at it. Open this. Could be useful in the next five seconds. Right, um, yeah, that was annoying. I'm hoping this is the one. I hope I don't get fucking ambushed by the cop again. Which is why I should not have wasted my shoddy shell. So the annoying part about... So let's see. Got it. So sometimes what will happen here is Nemesis will show up right there and be swinging at me as I close the door. Whew. Okay, we're gonna heal now. Um, okay, the infuriating part is I really wanted to save the double nades for the rocket launcher fight. Because that's the time where you can just easily loop him in that little, um, little spot. But, yeah, no, it just wasn't happening. I've got myself in a bad situation. So there's no point really trying anymore. It's easier to just call it quits now. Let's have a look what we got. Um, nade won't be needing. I uh, won't be needing this at all. Cool. I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll get the fucking booklet. Yeah, how to make first suit sprays, blah, blah, blah. Whew, yeah. Um, it's been a while <laughs> since uh, since I made would have made the initial cut. Okay, we'll see how lucky we get here. We got it. That was basically perfect. I'm sure Nam will help me fuck it up any second now. Actually, if he beats a good boy, it stays perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Nemesis. Prick. Okay. Um, I find what you want to do is sit right here. Just wait for him to come through. Because he stops there. Mr. X almost. Bingo. And it's totally worth it given what he's dropping. Because that was for a single bullet. Which will be shoddy shells. And we're going to load that, them up. Well, once we're through here. I could go play around with them, but it's no point. Well, that's poking with enough a few times. Ah, bitch. Can't even swim. I always forget that fucking Parliament Funkadelic song. Psycho Aqua Disco Beta Alpha. I don't remember what the hell the full title is. All I know is he never learned to swim. Just like Nemesis. But yeah, um, a little irritating. I'm out of a two nades for the rocket launcher fight, but I eh, will survive somehow. Okay. Now, the cool part about the section is. I can wholeheartedly promise you, I am not going to require a single heal for this entire part. 
because it's basically I'm either gonna get you know insta killed or nothing's gonna happen to me. So let's just have a quick look. We've got a lot of handgun ammo, way more than it appears. A little annoying. I wish I had more shells. That's all because I fucked up and made handgun bullets instead of shoddy shells. About 20 minutes ago. That's like 10 minutes ago for you guys. Given how much I had to fucking cut. Um, the beta, the hunter gamma that appears right there. You can try to avoid it, but given you have to go in and out there, and then dodge it and put the thing, uh, the battery pack in, and then you have to wait for the, the door animation to fully close. Um, it, you, it's just fucking worth nailing him in the mouth with a flame round. I've worked it out here, and unless you're going to entirely kill, like, two hunters with, um, with the handgun, which is dumb, I would not advise it. I'm only going to kill this one with the handgun. So, what's the, yeah, let's see. Nothing I can use as, like, a point of reference for a trigger. That's annoying. Hoping there's something like in Bloodborne where I... I know there's that ivy for the where the dogs charges in Cathedral in um, Cathedral Ward. He gets too close, I'm gonna go shoddy. In fact, fuck this. Yeah, there we go, bitch. The I don't mind the fact that these guys replace Grave Digger, but it would have been cool to have you know the worms in in some capacity. But given how this game plays. And given how annoying the parasites are, maybe I want to retract that statement. <laughs> maybe I, you know, would not have liked that. Radio. Here we go. So for this part, what we are going to do is this. Now that's you. Um, yeah, you kind of have to make the flame rounds if you want to make it out here. I mean, you can try not to, but... Uh, it's annoying because I I like the idea of trying to make the acid rounds as quickly as possible, but I don't really see a good window of opportunity for it. Oh nope. Now you might be wondering why you get rid of the shoddy. Fair question. The reason is it's of no use down here. If a hunter gamma is not going to die from a flare round, you normally just need one of these. Not relevant at all, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I forget. Yeah, he swaps out first, or... No, it's you dickheads. Fall from the roof. Let's make sure we get this properly. Now, was that enough to finish you off? Yeah. I've noticed that one has a weird tendency to survive. Yep. If that wasn't a totally direct hit to the mouth, well, he'll, um, survive. Bingo. The only annoying part is you pick up shoddy shells here anyway, but I don't think it's worth carrying a shoddy this far. You, you could keep the shells on you. In fact, it wouldn't have been that bad of an idea for me. It would save me having to combine them in the next five seconds. Or in, in the next five minutes, I guess. Okay, that was weird. I was trying to aim, but I kept fucking it up. So there's two more gammas we have to take down, and there's enough, just enough to make flame rounds right ahead. I, I'd like the idea of, actually wait, there's you, what am I forgetting? So wait, why do I have to make the flame rounds? I think it's because I get in here and I normally don't have the inventory space. I think that's it? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's 100% what happens. Um, we're going to put you here. Yeah, sure. Um, well, we are going to not so reluctantly make shoddy shells. Bingo. Now there's you, which is explosive A. Okay. I think I'm a little light, lighter than usual. So this section wasn't too bad. Okay, but what am I thinking of? Because it feels like I have to um, make them, but I guess that's because of inventory space. Yeah, yeah, I assume that's what it is. Because there's only two more gammas. 
Wait, sorry, there's three. Yeah, okay, now that's why we have to make it the three gammas. There's you, which I can't see any way of getting past. Um, there's the one that jumps up, which I don't think you can stun long enough without just blasting it. So yeah, we have to make it. I don't, I don't even know if acid's very, you know, the acid rounds are particularly good on anything, bar the hunters, but I imagine they, they'll do significant damage to something, each ship. So yeah, oh no, fire, how tragic. So I wonder if you can dodge past the gammas because I've never tried. I think I've only ever been eaten once and that's because I totally fucked up. I totally fumbled with what I was doing. Okay, good. That's there. Yeah, so look, as far as things are concerned, I don't mind this part is totally deprived of Nemesis. Because it's only like a 10 minute segment. Yeah, if it was a way to circumvent this fucker, if it was a way to just lap him easily, I'd consider it, but it doesn't feel like for time worth the time and effort. Okay, so there's high grade, there's a new slot, which is awesome. One could say Jawsome if they subscribed to the school of street sharks. And there's a neat. Well, we've definitely got plenty for the Nemesis fight. We got a fuck ton. Yeah, but okay, that, that's the problem I had. I accidentally made that one lot of handgun. Yeah, I made handgun bullets instead of shoddy shells, and that's what's fucked up everything. Damn it. Alright, so I guess we're going to 1v1 Nemesis, basically handgun only. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did that last night too. I am smart sometimes. Very smart, apparently. Carlos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go, Jill. So, I think I'm gonna stop just after we murk Brad. I'll pause there, take a break. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna let this play out. Because he's just so fucking cool. I think as far as Nemesis um, design is regarded, um, well, game design is uh, regarded, um, I'll, I'll try that again. As far as I'm concerned, this section with Nemesis, I don't think you need to change too much. I just wish there was a way where you could make it, I, I just wish there was a way for damage you deal to him. Okay, we'll try this again. I just wish there was a way where you could damage him here and that would carry over for the actual fight. That's the one thing I wish. And that'd, that'd make me happy. That's really it. Alright, shoddy. Should be back up there with everything else. Yes it is. There we go. Perfect. We have you to blow back that one zombie. So let's see. Yeah. No, don't. Ah, uh, Jill. Damn it. Didn't want to reload there. So I. Tested it. I won't show it off now, but you can totally shoot him here, um, and after a few shots, he will recoil. Um, unfortunately, his little pack on the his little pack won't start to light up. But uh, if you could make it like not entirely explode, but just deal damage to it now, that'd be cool. That'd be a nice little thing. Yeah. I'm still a fan of this new design. 
Alright, so here we go. Here's our little filing shrine loop. Not quite. So Stagler's there, Toy Uncle's there. You can see the power point plant just ahead. It's that little moment of standing on top of the bridge. With the Hellkite Drake fucking breathing on us. Huh? Hmm. That was Dark Souls 1 if it wasn't very apparent. I'll play that one day. Hell, I'm considering doing 3 soon. Um, as much as that's a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Feels like I should probably do 1, then 2, then 3, but we'll see. Okay, um... There's a few herbs up there. There's at least one red, one green. I think there's a, I think there's another single green. Um, I'll put that there. There's normal grenade rounds. There's handgun. I think we don't need anything else. I think, it, yeah, I'm good to take him. We're gonna save over this one. I think the one from last night puts me in a better position than I am today. Finding Dr. Bard. This cutscene too. Yeah, this is in no means a slight to the game, but this is the best fight. Ugh, I'm reloading again. Oh well. Oh, yeah. So I find you can get on a good angle here and just lay into him. Okay, while he's recharging... <laughs> refueling rather. We'll grab that. Okay, now we'll do this. Suddenly. We got you. Okay, so that is gone. It, I wasn't going nuts. Oh, gotcha fucker. So yeah, I managed to do this entire fight last night without getting hit once. So don't worry, I'll get hit now because I'm on camera. Because I'm recording my efforts. Yeah, that's the second green herb. The red one's just there. Um, and... Right, there we go. Bingo. Okay, do it. Do it, fucker. Would be nice if I didn't get hit once at all in this fight, because it would be a great thing to show mates. Oh, oh I didn't get hit that entire time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, that, that combo right there reminds me of the Souls moveset in the best way possible. Okay, we have you did. Okay, now we grab that. Hang on, got it. Gotta grab that before we end him. So I'm actually gonna avoid killing him right now. He's gonna be going for his charge up. Okay. Bet. <laughs> Delayed. Okay, I actually got hit there. Don't, didn't really count, but... Okay, he's probably gonna go for his fucking Red Knight... Red Knight charge. Yeah, a lot of the time it's just better to just get out of the way. Aha! Fucker. Gotcha! Now, once you get that little animation of, um, just Jill, you know, getting a little singed. Ah, oh, damn it, that's right. There we go. I didn't take a single point of damage the entire fight. Fuck yeah. Oh boy, here's the part where I'm also going to reset a fuck ton too, I fucking bet. I'm using fuck a lot. Hmm. Oh yeah, Capcom's little new policy change. Yeah, fuck that while I'm at it. Alright, this guy's a dick. Well known fact, this guy's also a dick. 
what we're going to try to do is aggro him. Do we hit him? We hit him, I think. Yeah. All the other zombies I can avoid with relative ease. Make shooting barrels such a breeze. He's big, he's slow, he can't jump high. But those parasites can go fucking die. I'd go over and listen to the uh, police radio, but not while she's standing there. I honestly thought there'd be something down here to spook me on Nightmare, but no, of course not. It'd be awesome if you could look through and see Mr. X in, just like standing there watching. It'll make absolutely no fucking sense in regards to the timeline. Um, but it'd be cool. It is a nice juxtaposition comparing these streets and their signage to the new ones in, you know, the downtown of this game. Definitely have a lot more personality. I'm impressed I did that. Mikhail's Porogis. Where are they? Now, we'll look at them in a sec. Alright, um... Let's think about this. Okay. Now, there's something I don't want to fuck up. And it involves you. Okay, good, good, good. This is going well. Reload. Handgun. Grab the gunpowder. We're gonna make shoddy shells. Yeah, shut up. Sorry, Kendo, go tend to your dying kid. I'm a very empathetic person, apparently. Um, put that there. Lockpick can go there. You can go away, um, depending. We'll grab explosive, because I'd rather use them. We're going to chuck you away for later. We'll chuck you for later. There's that single red herb, so we're going to keep that there. Or we'll ammo there, ammo there. Let's just have a look. Yeah, okay. Um, that's going to be three full heals. Plus a first aid spray, which I just remembered about. Okay, um, fun time. You. I, ne I need you. Let's do this first. Let's grab you. So, the semi bar uh, what's it, what's it called? The semi- uh, se <laughs> The semi-auto barrel will grant us an, an additional six if we don't um, reload. So you know what? We're doing that. Um, I've just got to fight muscle memory as hard as possible. So we're loaded up big time. We can take on the big nem, no prob. Mikhail's pierogies. Now, I don't know if that guy's going to magically hit us for a fence or not, but I'm hoping not. I should have taken that one shotty shell, because it would have been wasted on this guy. He gets up to us, doesn't he? Yep. Good. I did that just for me, because I couldn't remember. I swore he did. Let's do this instead. Alright, we are going to... You know what? Fuck this. See you later, fucker. Okay. Here's what we're going to do here. Yep. You got anything else to say to that? No? Good. Stay down. Okay. I'm happy I'm at this point, finally, because it gives me some more shit to talk about in regards to Nemesis. Um, well, the game design of Nemesis. I honestly think, and this would fix a lot, I really fucking like the section. His insta-kill charge, yeah, it's a little annoying, whatever. I think, personally, hold on one sec, I'm just trying to work out where we are. That's yeah, kind of hard. I personally think, if Nemesis stayed in this form for the Clock Tower fight, the game would be better. I reckon if he beasted out, um, hypothetically, if he beasted out, I'm just doing this before he fucking does his awesome little cutscene. If he beasted out in the lab, say when um, Jill frees herself by shooting the um, the giant tanks, if they shot acid all over him and muta mutated him into his dog form, 
that was kind of like a homage to what he's his final form in the OG game. I think it'd be a lot better. It's just not the case though. And yeah, you walk forward there. Oh, it's so fucking good. <laughs> oh, I love that cutscene so much. All right, we're probably gonna get hit. I did this without taking a hit from his rockets last night, but fucking dipshit around the corner is gonna be the problem. Holy shit. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Goddamn. Hmm. Good timing for that. Hey, you see that, uh, you see that, um, head on top of Toy Uncle? That hasn't killed me on Nightmare so far. I think I know what's gonna happen, though. <laughs> I've got a slight idea of what will happen in the next couple of minutes. Alright, do we have to, we have to kill you again? Hey, fucker. For a second, I thought he fucking glitched after the wall. That would have been awesome. Yeah, I didn't want to take any chances with that shit lord. Yeah, so kind of just going off what I was talking about. Well, earlier and with the Nemesis thing. I'm going to hit the map right now. So I'm actually kind of happy I died. Alright, so we're here. This, I was about right. I was a little more off to the side. So we walk forward. There's the, there's the alleyways. We come out there, right? I reckon if you get to about here and see most of this section <coughs> and explore here, that'd be fine. Hell, to give you more room to fight the dogs. Hell, it'd be even better if one of the dogs came from this direction. I think just having that little bit of extra area and by extension this, this part here, that'd really help. It'd give you more room to engage the Nemesis. The main annoying thing is though, I was looking at some of the concept art before I started recording, and the original power plant construction site in the artwork looks way more interesting than what we got. Like look, if they could just fit in like a street around here, say, say this one a little further, and we actually got down to where Dario was. If we got, if we could go back and see Dario that way, that'd be fucking rad. I've not reloaded once again. Fantastic. One, two. Nemesis is a creature of habits. He loves his freeze. I'm hoping it gets shitlord, but it won't. Yeah, I'll, I'll cop that. That's fine. I will gladly take that hit. What I'm not looking forward to is this. Get him. Thank you. Thank you, Nemesis Chan. Oh, I fucking hate that parasite so much. Now we'll skip this. Like, I don't mind how set PC this is. It, you know, it's a little... I can imagine people are a little bored of... You know, bored of it on replays. It just bums me out because there's all this usable area. Like... So he's fucked off right now, that's fine. He's ninjaing around on the rooftops, I fucking bet. If we could go in here, and there's like another little area, maybe a safe a safe room. If it was just a, like, if we could just come through here and say he fucks it up in between, that'd be cool. Hell, it'd give you a nice way to get back here. It'd skip the Nemesis encounter, but perhaps walking out that way. Well, actually, yeah, just move this trigger to the front of the substation. And you have two ways to go. I didn't point it out um, at Kendo's shop, but I really like that. I really like that you can see the damage of you and Nemesis fucking going hard. Alright, maybe the two grenades earlier it's arguably better, because I've got this to use on them. Um, you can't use that, I'm pretty sure, because... The Charlie head, the toy uncle head, is going to be in the way. So let's just get that quick turn in. This yep. I bet I fucking die. So I tend to find just doing that and then running and then just a dodge for good measure easily gets you out of the way. Wait. 
What? Oh, for simple lock, I didn't do that. Oh, that explained why I was out of shoddy ammo. Oh, that would have made that way easier. Now, he'll drop here, typically. So we're going to nade him immediately. And then we're going to nail him with one of these. And then one of these. Except we're going to get nailed with one of those. Didn't do it. Rocket duel. Fuck yeah. Perfect. Now let's just hope we can click through them. We cannot. Shit. So, I have tested uh, with the section just coming up ahead where he'll amazingly just bypass us. Um, yeah, I know fighting him here is a little better, but that worked out really well actually. So, when he appears just over there, next to the shop, um, I've checked, nothing to do, uh, the shutter door's down, he'll just try to charge you a ton. And I think, uh, I think he'll follow you back there, it's just not worth trying. We'll save this cutscene, I'll, I'll just gel it. Get fucked. Yeah, if we could have just explored this, like, right near the start. Again, just have, like, a zombie or two. Make it so we can walk into a little room next to it. Make it so it's got, like, some handgun or something. I don't know. That's all you really need. Now, I don't think you can get in front of Carlos. No, you can't. Damn it. Like, I know it would be kind of just arbitrary exp ex uh, exploration by that point, but it feels just really simple um, things they could have done. It feels like really simple things they could have done. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of Like, maybe I'm asking too much for, you know, the scope, given how the game's designed, but at the same time, if fucking OG RE3 could do it, what the fuck can't this? Alright. Let's do this part. Which is just walking ahead, skipping two cutscenes, and then shooting Brad in the head, and then two other zombies. Not from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Yeah, lip sync's not the greatest. This also kind of comes into the, the whole thing of Carlos going to the RPD instead. Which I don't inherently m hate. I actually kind of like how his section plays out. Especially because it's, you know, it's, it's an excuse to have liquors. But... It is a bit of a bummer Jill doesn't go there herself. Because what's a way you could do it? Um, maybe they could have had it so once... It would fuck with the layout. But maybe once you see Dario in the container, what ends up happening is you walk a few more streets. A um, little bit further. Yeah, I'm just rearranging this. Apologies. And then maybe you go to the RPD, which is where the Nemesis stuff happens. You could keep Brad the same as it is in this, or change it back to the old style, I'm not that fast. But you could get her to come back to the RPD briefly, and then maybe even still have the section with Carlos here. And just have it, have this be the spot where Nemesis fucking hits Nemesis, well, where Jill hits Nemesis with a car, and where the copter blows up. I mean, presumably that was Nemesis, given his affinity with rocket launchers. Yeah, so if you haven't figured it out, I figured it a little cheat spot with Brad. I'm still missing, though. Because I'm good. There we go. One bullet less than last night. While we're at we'll just do this room first. I normally do it after, but... Yeah. Somebody didn't have time to put a bruise on. Sorry, poster boy. Sorry, Brad. 
I'm not actually that sorry, to be honest. Maybe a little. Okay. Here is part of RPD special tactics and response. Um, what what is it? I forget what the S is. Meanwhile, Jumbo over here. Gotcha. I think we're fast enough. Yeah, no, we're not. That did it. I don't think he gets up. Big guy gets up. Yeah, we picked it all up. Perfect. I'm not as well practiced with the shoulder tackle, unfortunately, but... Yeah, what you gonna do? So, what is it? Um, let's have a look. How do I get this punch in? Because I was doing it last night in the RPD, just monkey around with it. Not even hitting zombies, just kind of doing it casually, and I got the uh, follow-up punch. Weird. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a herb. We're going to grab the handgun bullets. I'd just like to make sure I actually fucking grab it. Um, we're going to go down... Grab the pouches because fuck you. And we're gonna go chat with Tyrell, then we'll save. Beautiful. Almost a full clip. Nice. If clips are wrong terminology, ah, uh, sue me, I don't care. Oh wait, no, 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 maybe don't Capcom. I saw Max's video today. I love that. Fucking love that. Um, yeah, Max's video about Capcom's overzealous approach to how they're going to be handling people's use of their uh, con of their video game content. Yeah, um, Capcom, don't go the Nintendo path. And I say that as a Nintendo fan, don't go the fucking Nintendo path, please. Not, not for your sake, for our sake, frankly. You're a fucking giant entity. You're a fucking company. Screw you. Our rights matter way fucking more. Would be a nice little easter egg if you could see X stomping around, but again, that would make no fucking sense. So what I'll do, just for the sake of it, give a stupid note. Use Brad's card. Grab this. And yeah, I'll save. So, I don't know if I'm like mashing this all together in one giant thing or how I'm doing this, but fuck it. Yeah, we'll just save over this. Radio. See you later or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. Keep going, Hannibal. Keep going.